Underhandling is a concept used by high-end players to increase their efficiency. Because hockey is such a fast-paced game, players sometimes only have fractions of a second to make the play. By eliminating excess movement, they are in a position to make plays at the most critical or optimal time. With most underhandling techniques, players must move their feet in order to acquire the correct body position to effectively execute the underhandling skill. Underhandling is the applied concept in hockey of less is more. We begin with one touch passing. This skill allows players to move the puck quickly and stay one step ahead of the opponent. One touch passes also increase your team's speed of attack. In this next clip, watch how quickly a one touch pass can transition a team to offense. Here, speed of the puck's movement, low to high, opens up a quality scoring chance. The same is true when the puck is moved quickly east to west. Redirection passing is another form of the one-touch pass that increases a team's offensive speed. It also has the capability of adding some deception to the play. Watch this quick transition redirection, and a goal. Here it is again. The catch and pass skill is a prime example of the underhandling concept. When the player receives the puck, it is caught with the head up and immediately held in position to make another play. There is no need to add excess stick handling movements. This enables the player to advance the puck in the split second that the opportunity presents itself. Watch these examples of underhandling. Catch with the head up, ready to make a play. In the area of scoring, the quickness of a shot's release can make the difference between a goal and a routine save. The one-time shot is the epitome of quick release. Players should practice this skill from all areas of the ice, whether it's a one-time slap shot, snap shot, or even a shot off a crossbody pass. The mastery of the one-timer will help improve a player's goal scoring abilities. Watch how quickly this last sequence occurs, and it starts off with a one-time shot. The catch and shoot technique is similar to the catch and pass. The puck is caught with the head up, ready to select a target, and take the shot. The elimination of excess stick handling increases the speed of the shot's release. It is important to note that with most of these underhandling techniques, the players must initially move their feet in order to gain the correct body and stick position to set up the underhandling skill. With underhandling, the reduced movement of the hands is offset by an increased activity with the feet. The 
hands-free technique is an underhandling puck control skill. By placing the puck in a defendable area, the puck carrier can concentrate on freeing himself from the checker. The puck carrier limits his stick contact with the puck. This reduces the opponent's ability to knock the puck loose with contact of the hands and stick. When in open ice, pushing the puck is a desirable tactic. This keeps the puck in a position to make an immediate play, yet allows the puck carrier to generate speed through efficiency of movement. Surrounding the puck is a puck retrieval skill. Players should look over their shoulders prior to arriving at the puck. This will enable them to know what their options are and act accordingly. By moving your feet around the puck, surrounding it, players are then able to quickly and efficiently make the next play. The last area that the underhandling concept can improve is in deception. Fakes don't always require more stick handling. Watch the efficiency of these deceptive plays.